Hey guys, welcome back to PHT TV. You may recognize the truck that's next to me here. I am standing here in front of Paducah Home Theater's brand new showroom. So we're gonna take you inside for a tour and let's see what's inside. Front door. Jason. Hey Corey, how's it going? What's up? Long time no see. Been, a, been forever, it seems. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> so you want me to show you around? Yeah, let's see what you got to offer. All right, room. I'm gonna show you and everybody else what's up, but hey, we just got this place. This is mostly for before and after. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. We've, all, we've barely had this month, but we have, we've just been moving as hard as we can. Plus, hey, you and Trey just wrecked the place. So <laughs> <laughs> you don't, don't lie about it. So anyways, this is the main room. Um, everybody calls that the Beetlejuice fireplace. So we just, we thought it was pretty. Plus it's, it's, it's a huge room. This is like 23 foot wide. So just having the width of getting those, uh, you know, the big clip speakers in there was a huge plus. This was actually originally an art gallery. So there was a, was a guy named Louis Levera and another guy, I forget which, which one is which, but basically there were artists that were drawn in from the, uh, um, oh, the lower town. They give like tax incentives and stuff. They were trying to build this whole a two block area up into a, you know the art mecca of, of the Midwest. So they were part of that. He was, that's supposed to be like $13,000 painting. He's done work that's sitting in the uh, uh, Rockefeller Center in New York, but uh, so yeah, I hope I hope that painting doesn't go away. But uh, this is the um, reference room. We're about to um, you know put a display up on the wall. Thinking about getting that Epson 100 inch TV with the uh, oh, let's get the little 4K projector you put right up against the wall. But yeah, like I said, this is a whole work in progress. And of course, you'll probably see the guitars laying on the floor. One unique thing about this is that we're trying to do like a mixed uh, kind of thing. You've got hi-fi, you'll have guitars laying everywhere. So it should be fun. This is actually the uh, uh, Robert Chujillo, is that how you say it? This is his signature Warwick. So we just got it in yesterday. I didn't want it sitting at the warehouse, but pretty sharp. It's got the little Metallica font. I thought it was pretty badass. So what this is sitting on is actually the only pair of distressed oak corn walls um, out in public. Um, I was told that there were only ones in existence, but they've got serial numbers three and four. I did some digging to try to figure out where a one and two are, and I, I guess they ended up in engineering at uh, Indianapolis and Klipsch. But these are the only ones that the public has seen. I think the part of the problem was that this big fat grill of the Cornwall, it didn't get along with the lamb's wool. So when, when you stretch it that far, I think there was some distortions that they didn't like. But yeah, I'm proud of them. Everybody asks about them. Yeah, only, only ones out there, only ones you'll probably ever see. So here's the kitchen. This has just been a workshop for me. I'm big on posters. If you get if you get uh, clip speakers from me and want a poster, just just let me know. We 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 got hammered on Black Friday, but uh, we're trying to get caught up. So you've got the RF7s. You got all the heritage. You've got uh, Jubilees. Uh, so yeah, we'll be happy to get you one if if you bought from us. This is, of course, well, we don't even have chairs at this point. This is going to be the kitchen. I was thinking about uh, ordering a nice black walnut table and, you know, matching thing over there. All this is junk left over from the uh, old shop. We just moved. Um, we moved our house, then we moved the old shop. It's just been nice. But. Yeah, you're not really <clears throat> oh, yeah, these are the Q acoustics, uh, the concepts. I've got some more upstairs as well. So these actually are just super comfortable to listen to. But one of the cool things is that if, if you look real close, see how it wiggles? So basically, I don't know what material it is, but there is this super fancy base on top of this, and it's just totally decoupled. Plus, there's a bunch of engineering that went into these stands. I just thought they looked cool, but the whole idea is that these speakers are completely decoupled from the floor. So you're not going to get any additional coloration, that kind of thing. 
And then of course, well, that catches everybody's eye. Uh, this looks amazing once the sun starts going down. But yeah, they custom made this in Louisville. Like they welded it on site and then they trucked it in. We just had a deluge of a rain and this is all dirty. Plus this, you know, this is winter time. But in the summertime, this is just gorgeous. You know, we've got a bunch of big fat goldfish, got a bamboo over here. We're planning on putting like some black AW650s over here. You should be able to rock out outside. But um, one of our biggest goals is this is actually a destination. You know, we're in halfway rural Kentucky. A lot of my guys are traveling from three, four, six or more hours away. So part of this, and you'll see this in a minute, this is basically gonna be like a, a Airbnb, like a bed and breakfast, a half hour bed and breakfast. So you'll be able to come here, show up, listen as long as you want. You can crash, stay the next day. So we haven't quite figured out, uh, you know, the pricing structure. Most likely we'll do something like, well, it's $250 a night, but if you get heritage speakers from us, we'll, we'll waive it. So um, everybody seems to be pretty excited about that. In a home environment, as opposed to hearing them in a store, because hearing in a store is completely different. Well, it's not just hearing, but just seeing as, as well. I mean, the walking into a big box store in a warehouse environment, you got metal shelves and, concrete floors and no color and noise, ever. it's just, it, it's horrible. And most people aren't around here aren't uh, used to something nicer. So yeah, the idea was to have a more home environment, but uh, but yeah, just the visualization is, is huge. I mean, it, it, once you see this stuff in the room, it, it's just, people are taken aback quite a bit. So. We like this property just because it's so unique. I mean, all the different rooms are just so different. And, you know, we finally have the space. This alone is 4,000 square feet, which, you know, there's bigger places out there, but at the same time, that's like zero warehouse. I mean, you know, all together, we've probably, you know, got 20,000 square feet. So for this area, that's just pretty stupid, to be honest. So basically, these are a few of my favorite amps. Uh, when I signed on to be a heritage dealer, one of the requirements was that we had two amps. I did, we didn't have a carry at the time, so my first two amp was this guy. It's a tool shed. It's only six and a half watts of channel, but it are absolutely running out of the room. The coolest thing is this thing on top with the PWK logo. What they actually do is, you know, you've got the PWK sticker or whatever, and it, and it sits on top. They take that whole thing and they dip it in acid, so it's boiling and it's eating that. And the exact timing, they know that you're basically taking six mils off, take the sticker off, and it looks super cool. But the side right here, we used to have like a beach house in Kentucky, and one of the things I wanted, we actually imported koa from Hawaii. That, Koa is like on an endangered species list, and I don't know all the rules, but all I know is these two sides alone, just the raw chunk of wood was about, it was about 220 bucks. So yeah, Koa is not cheap. So. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. So of course that's the EAT C major turntable. And of course I need to clean all this stuff up, but those are super popular. Um, this is the Carry SLI 80 HS. Klipsch actually had a active um, hand in voicing these, but they also manufacture these sides. So it, I think this is the, it may be cherry. I think it's the walnut one. But basically you can get walnut, black or cherry, and it, it's the same wood, same stain as your Klipsch Heritage. So, um, and then down below, JC5, Parasound. So this is a studio. Uh, you'll see splatter paint everywhere. Uh, like I said, this used to be an art gallery. This is actually their workshop. So I mean, it's all over the floor, all over the walls. A lot of people think it was done on purpose, but it wasn't. They actually painted in here and all this crap is their overspray. So half of me wants to cover it up and cover it up, but so many people like it, I just kind of want to highlight it somehow. But the long-term goal is to basically turn this into a movie theater. So these three Jubilees are going to go across the front. There is actually a, a, a broom closet here in the back. Uh, if, and what we're going to do is basically cut a hole in that wall. Projector's going to fire through, so we got no projector noise. 
Um, and of course, like I said, we, we're, we're trying to get into instruments, guitars. So you'll see we've got Marshall amps starting to trickle in. And, um, you know, we're trying to rearrange that and, and figure out a, a, a good way to organize everything. But this wall over here is most likely, uh, we've got some of the string swing displays that they were supposed to be in a, a day or two ago. We should get them today or tomorrow. But basically this whole wall is going to be just guitars. Just um, one of the biggest challenges that we're running into is trying to figure out you know how do we get all this cool stuff in here and rearrange it in a useful manner that catches people's eyes but at the same time it's like this is a hi-fi shop so you know we have to get some you know acoustic panels and so just trying to marry those two situations is is uh, not the easiest thing but so this was the art gallery, and again, that whole wall back there is is going to be uh, guitars. So those are the breed loves that just came in. We just signed up with them, so they should be on the wall within a day or two. This uh, you can see the track lighting up top. It just lent itself really well for you know just playing guitars like that. So when we get done with it, this should be just super sharp. Um, we're going to try to intermingle some art on here. Uh, we've got a head. We've got, like I said earlier, we've got a, a, a Zoom appointment this afternoon with a decorator. We're trying to figure out how we're going to lay all this stuff out. Those are the SVS, um, the SB16s. Um, I'm a big fan of those just because they're just super tight, super accurate, um, just super flat. We had La Scala's in here, but it just turned into be awkward because, I mean, you can see how deep that pokes out and the Scala's were out even further. I'm not sure what we're going to do with the Lascalas, but this is probably just going to be pure guitars and... So this is the upstairs media room. Um, I'm not a huge fan of, uh, what is this, baby poop green? Is that what you call it? Yeah, pretty much. I'm not sure why they painted this, this color. It's kind of cool, but uh, I don't know. But uh, yeah, eventually this is going to be the SVS room. So you're basically going to have full SVS surrounds. Like I said, I can't say it enough. Some genius out there is going to tell me how big of a mess everything is. We just got done moving this stuff in here. But uh, when we're done, yeah, this should be full surround sound. Um, you know, I got the cylinder sub over here. This saves a lot of space. And you got the uh, prime towers. So it should be pretty cool. And of course, I'm <clears throat> obliged to say this is where the magic happens, right? So, this where it up. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is this is the bedroom. We got speakers just everywhere. So this is the other. These are the Q towers, and surprisingly, I really like them. They just got a real warm sound. Um, you can turn Rob Zombie on, and crank it to eleven, and just listen to it for hours. It's just super comfortable. So. If you come visit us, if you want to crash, this is where you would be. And of course, you got a super, look at this bathroom, just super pimp. This is the best room in there. Hey guys. I know Trey and I have been destroying your house for the last couple of days. <laughs> we, for the last couple of days. we have made a mess. Yeah, but that's about it for us. Are you going to kick us out now? I, I guess I'll have to. So anyways, yeah, uh, hopefully we can do another one of these in a few months once I figure out how to organize everything. All the guitars are in here and we've got everything uh, up on the wall. It should look a lot better. So yeah, just uh, yeah, subscribe, like and subscribe and follow us and uh, hopefully we'll do a follow up video here in a few months and yeah, we'll see what gets transformed. Uh, I said, this is Corey's Oh, you're not <laughs> recording that, all right. <laughs>